This is Fano Reynolds video review of the Nokia's top of the line smartphone, the N95. Being part of the N series, it's a multimedia device covering both camera and music video, but it's also a very advanced smartphone. Although it has lots of features, the size is similar to a common camera phone and the slider design makes it easily fit in the pocket. Slide it up to open the keypad, which is small but very usable. Slide it down and you reveal the multimedia keyboard which consists of four flush shortcuts. In this mode, the display goes in landscape orientation and you should hold the phone horizontally. On the right are the other dedicated keys, including the camera's two-way shutter button, the gallery shortcut and the volume rocker, which is used for the digital zoom. They are all illuminated in blue when the camera module is opened. By default, it has protective cover to protect the autofocus Carl's eyes lens. Slide it open to activate the camera. As you can see from the branding, it's a 5 megapixel unit and for a flash uses a large LED which is not as good as a real Xenon but is one of the brightest LEDs we've seen in a camera. On the left side there are no keys but you'll find a 3.5mm stereo jack. You can plug headphones or the wired remote control to it. Below it is the micro SD memory slot. On the bottom is the mini USB port for cable connection and the charger port. The front houses the 2.6 inch QVGA display with the light sensor and the additional camera for video calling above it. The sensor helps for some battery savings, but still you will probably hardly use the phone for more than a day on a single charge. The sensor controls both the keypad backlit and the display brightness so it won't be very bright in dark conditions but will be perfectly readable in strong sunlight. Overall we are very satisfied with N95's construction quality. It has excellent size for such feature rich device. It is built with quality materials and offers smooth sliding mechanism and superb keypad. Being a smartphone, N95 runs on Symbian S60 operating system and so its software is similar to the one of other Nokia smartphones such as N73 and N93 for example. The active home screen shows you important information and gives you shortcuts to often used applications. The main menu is displayed as 3x4 or 4x3 grid up icons as the interface of the phone can be used in landscape mode in addition to the portrait orientation. Just open the multimedia slider and you'll navigate in landscape. The contacts are displayed as a list that can be searched and they can contain numerous details like different types of numbers for example. You can add as much fields as you want and the contact can have 5 mobile numbers for example. Let's check the camera which is one of the key features of the N95 as it is 5 megapixels. The interface is in landscape mode and you have a line of icons on the right. You can choose the scene or the flash mode and when you have pushed the shutter key the autofocus engages and after a few seconds the image is taken. Switch to the camcorder mode and you'll be able to shoot videos with VGA which is 640 by 480 pixels at 30 frames which is about TV quality and of course this is an excellent result for a smartphone. The overall performance of the camera is excellent and in most conditions it can substitute most consumer digital cameras. The only conditions where it ranked far behind our Canon SD630 is during very low light shots in close proximity of about 10 feet, where the Xenon flash shows its definite advantages over the LED one. For camera and video samples go to our webpage phonearena.com. Using the multimedia dedicated key on the front or moving the slider to the multimedia position, you open an animated menu with multimedia features. Here you can easily start the music player which is new and better compared to the one on N73. You can still sort by album artists and genre and create playlists but the now playing interface is more comfortable than before. The sound quality from the speakers is one of the best among all cell phones we have tested. In addition, the 3.5mm stereo jack allows you to use your own headphones. The Maps application helps you navigate all over the world through the phone's built-in GPS receiver. The software Maps 
from more than 150 countries are absolutely free. You can easily see places of interest near you and navigate to them or navigate to an address. The turn-by-turn -turn navigation is not free and you have to buy it as an extra as well as are the city guides which have lots of points of interest information for each separate city. Turn right. After 200 meters, turn left. Turn left. Surfing the net on the N95 is also a pleasure as it has full HTML browser which we think is the best one currently installed in any phone. You can easily read Phone Arena's webpage or type the RSS reader's address for faster access to the latest information. As other high-end Nokia phones, the quality of the sound during a call is very good with clear and realistic voices and volume above average in both directions. The signal strength is great, passing our test with 8 out of 10. Overall, the N95 became one of our favorite devices. It has everything but the QWERTY keyboard. In its small body, the phone packs very good display and keyboard, lots of functionality and probably the best camera currently on the market that we've tested, a 5 megapixel unit with autofocus. In the multimedia part, we should know the excellent sound through the phone speakers and the 3.5mm jack that allows you to connect any headphones or even active stereo system without troubles. The GPS navigation shouldn't be missed as well. We recommend the N95 to anyone who looks for a highly capable smartphone or multimedia device as it is one of the best all-in-one phones currently on the market.